Yo, what's going on guys? It is JMD here, and I am bringing you another My GM episode. I I realize it has been a while since I posted this last, but, you know, it's final, It's time for me to get back into it and start making videos, hopefully daily, and I'm really starting to enjoy this. So, let's talk about my team for a little bit. Um... The one position I really think needs an upgrade is the center position. Even though DeAndre Jordan is an amazing rebounder and shot blocker, I still feel like we can get an upgrade. Maybe bring in Marcus Saul, Joakim Noah, maybe even David Lee. All those guys I have my eye on. Just just you know, just to um replace to replace um DeAndre Jordan with a higher caliber player, if you guys know what I'm saying. Um, and then Kelly Olenek, he will think, I also want to get him some more minutes. You see, he, he's basically been all good. He's been all good this season, this series. Like, look at bringing, grabbing those, grabbing those rebounds and putting them back up. And his hair is freaking fabulous. So what, you can't really disagree with that. And DJ Sharp has been all disappointment for me. Even though he even though he puts in that basket right there, I honestly think I wasted that seventh pick. I could have gotten somebody so much better than him, but well I will end up trading him, hint hint. Tr trade at the end of the video. So and uh Alright, I'm just gonna go through basically my entire roster and just review my players. Luol Dang has been He's been average. Some games he's good. Some some games he's bad. He's kind of inconsistent at times. So I will be trying to look. I will be looking to upgrade my um small forward position in the near future. Um, Rajon Rondo. He has also been performing. He has been knocking down his jump shots. Surprisingly enough, he <laughs> he's only he's usually known for his. Oh, he is known for his passing, not for his jump shots, but he's been knock he's been knocking down his threes more often than I expected him to, to be honest. And then Jimmy Butler. Jimmy freaking Butler. What a freaking tank. I think I got him in the second episode. And he the first game I played with him, he sucked. I did not get his freaking release down. But um after I played with him for a little bit, I got his release down. He is a freaking animal. He is a... Yeah, he's just a freaking beast. Alright, I already went over Lil Dang. Now, Kenneth Fareed. Again, I think it was smart of me to go for Darren Collison and um, Isaiah Thomas in free agency for trade assets. Because they're both like three stars. And I wasn't, I wasn't planning on using them. We're good on guards. So, I want to... Yeah, so... I think that was actually a really smart move now that I think about it. And look at Rondo gets Kirk Heinrich leaning and finds Kelly Olenek. That was pretty nice, to be honest. So, yeah, Kenneth Fareed, he definitely has so much potential. He's an amazing dunker. The only complaint I have is that his mid-range shot is not where I want it to be. If, if it's at, like, a 70, that's fine. I think it's at, like, a 65. So, he's kind of inconsistent with his shot, though. But, but Kelly Olenek, he... He has, a, he has a really good jump shot. He can even knock down the three every once in a while. But I won't be shooting threes with him. Um, Who else do I need to review? I don't know. Um, Oh, yeah, Avery Bradley. I forgot about him. This It's kind of sad about him because his morale is probably going to be going down since he will probably end up be losing his spot to Jimmy Butler in the near future. Even though Avery Bradley has been my, he's been with the team for the whole series, it will be kind of tough to maybe let him go if his morale gets too low. But, but for the sake of the team, Jimmy Butler will have the starting shooting guard position. Avery Bradley will have to come off the bench. He will learn how to deal with the lower minutes. So, yeah. It's kind of sad, but but it's the correct move, correct move for the future. 
I know. And um, something else I talk about is the draft. Like every single guy I draft, I think that they're gonna be a good a good shooter, like good three point, have a decent three point shot, maybe like a seventy five plus. Like it said, the outside scoring for um, DJ Sharp was like a B plus, which I I think is excellent. But his three point shots like a sixty seven or something. Like I, you guys already know my main go to thing in offense is three point shooting. So I don't know that it, I haven't really gotten. I, th- I think I've gotten a rookie, one of my my GMs that. That was number one, predicted to be number one overall pick. Who had an amazing three point shot, but so I think that's the only one that I really witnessed. And the other thing is freaking DJ Sharp's release. I probably said this already in the video, but it's really bad. I cannot figure it out. I know I can change it, but you know, I don't really, uh, I don't really know. I kind of fell out of love with DJ Sharp right, right as I played my first game with him. Honestly. It's kind of sad because I thought he was going to bring bring a powerful essence to this team. And we do end up getting the win 65-64 to 64 as Rondo tries to put up that last shot. I, th- I think that puts us up 2 or 2-0 two on the season so far. See, Rondo probably could have taken this shot. He probably could have made it. So this is season 2. Um... So in this free agency, I think, I think Rondo, yeah, Rondo does end up testing free agency. You no, know, he will, he will test free agency. So I'm debating whether I should bring him back or maybe go for a better point guard, maybe dish him out towards the end of the year. I don't know. And Jimmy Butler, see, that's what I love about him. Just that, just, I don't know. Seems like whenever he he takes a deep three, it, he always just drains it. It's, it's it's insane. I don't know. I can't really explain it. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Let's get right in. <laughs> Let's keep going with the gameplay commentary. All right, Kelly Olynyk with a nice slam over Otto Porter, the rookie. No, not the rookie anymore. The second year man out of Georgetown. Jimmy Butler knocking down that three. You guys already know. Avery Bradley almost getting the turnover, but Terrence Jones picks it up, kicks it off to Kelly Olenek, who will always knock down that shot. It's too easy for him. Terrence Jones, he's been kind of underperforming. I brought him on this team for a um, to be an offensive threat coming off the bench, offensive big man coming off the bench. But um, I don't know. I really haven't found a reason why I should keep him, to be honest. I just kind of said all these. And like I don't know, I keep I keep going off on a tangent here. I it, it just saddens me. Even though this is a video game, it kind of saddens me that all of these young players just sit on the free agent market with no teams even giving them a chance. They're all under twenty five. Like no teams give them a chance because I don't know why teams don't give them a the chance because they they have no they have low overall because they don't have a team to improve it like. Maybe put him on a team with the best player like LeBron. Maybe maybe they'll grow with him and become become a star themselves. Like you just you just never know with these players. And um, the thing about Carmelo Anthony, it's kind of funny. I've simulated the my GM mode like twenty. I'm gonna say twenty years in the future. And Carmelo Anthony. So Carmelo Anthony's overall has dropped. He's like a ninety three right now. I honest to God he was like a seventy four. Like he just diminished. Like he's he's like thirty. So like he was he was no not twenty years. It could they couldn't have been twenty years. Unless oh yeah. That was probably some other time. I don't know. That's, I don't I don't know what I'm talking about, but good players like him can just wa- or just get washed up like yeah, it's just like good players like they once were, like Carmelo Anthony, ninety two. Give him ten years, he'll drop down to a freaking seventy five. It's it's kind of weird just to see see a a former all star caliber like him be so low and like give practically 
trade for nothing for him, you know? Well, yeah. This game was pretty intense. Have you guys been paying attention to it? I know, if you've just been listening to my voice, I've been kind of just talking about my team, the league. And, yeah, now I'm going to focus on the game here. For eight, uh, not Avery, Bradley Beal, not Avery Bradley. Bradley Beal knocks down that three to tie it up with 12 seconds left. Rondo gets the ball. And who who do you guys think I'm giving it to? Maybe the number 20 who's wide open? Beal's, oh, too much space. You can't give him that shot, baby. You can't. That's a big mistake. You guys already know. We won. We are 3-0 on the year. And let's move into the trade, which we will be departing with. Wait for it. We will be departing with DJ Sharp. Yes. DJ Sharp. It's been a, it's been the time this time it's been coming. I mean he's I haven't I have not played well with him in one game. I don't really think I would be playing well with him even if I kept him. Yeah, it's not worth keeping him. I'll be trading him for Harrison Barnes. I will also be, pa be packaging in Rod Sloan, another rookie that we drafted. 17th, I believe, overall. So, yeah. That's going to wrap things up for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed these two games and the trade. This is like an exclusive episode since I have not played this in a while or uploaded it in a while. And make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. And just look how stacked our team is. It's crazy. All right, peace out.